Yo guys, it's your boy Dennis here. Welcome back to another video. We are back with some of our scrap mechanic creations that I built for content, obviously. We got this uh, little pickup here. I mean, it's, it's big. Yes, it's big, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but, this car is actually not so fast, but there's something really special about this car. Very special, but not too special, but it's but it's very worth to uh to to watch this video but uh as you guys can see um uh, as a uh, working uh doors here back and back back doors here now uh, this is based on the Chevrolet C10 uh pickup truck back in the 1970s and yeah, this car was uh, made around 1970s obviously and um look at this car and yeah i guess it, i guess it's pretty cool and uh this one is actually off road you know, it's already obvious because of the uh, large wheels in the uh, in here, though, obviously. So, uh, yes, uh, fully working doors here, as you guys can see, it does work properly. It's not getting stuck or something. But uh, the hoods doesn't wor even work here because I actually forgot. So, uh, uh, let's get inside this car. And, uh, yes, it works in a gas engine. It's a real-wheel drive. As you, can s I, as you guys can see, it's... Uh, one in here and uh, here, here is, there's nothing connected here, but here, here's what, what it makes something special. So, um, as you guys can see, we have uh, like three engines, uh, both of these uh, are actually gas. Uh, obviously, they're, they're on the same speed. But under here, we have an, uh, a level 5 electric engine uh, that is connected through here. Like, what is that? It's not even connected here to the wheels. That is actually uh and a uh, dual drive system shout out to our magma for that because uh you can see he made a uh, dual drive system you know in scrap mechanics shout out to him you know you should subscribe to him if you're watching this video now and uh so here here's the uh here's what the uh how here's how this works uh the front here the, the things that are spinning here there are uh the ones that are spinning here as you can see it's actually connected to the driver seats and it can go here which enables all wheel drive and uh it also has a differential lock from the front and uh this car this car here is actually not fast but it can go uh, off roads yes ladies and gentlemen it can go off roads so i can prove you that and uh i think this is the right mountain uh and uh also i forgot to say that i actually built my own terrain you know yes ladies and gentlemen uh you're wondering why is the world different than I used to record, you know? And uh, I think this is a short guy here. And uh, this one's this one is supposed to be have mo mods or something. As you guys can see, as soon as I enable the dual drive system, it just starts to like keep the wheels just starts to keep spinning, you know? And that's what makes this car is actually very interesting or very uh, special, you know? So we're gonna try off roading there. That's intense here, and yeah, because there and, and plus there is no path. As you can see, the truck the truck starts to struggle. But as soon as I enable the dual drive in the front, as you guys can see, it says it still keeps going. The wheels st are still keep spinning. I mean, most of the cars can uh, can climb here, but they're only using electric engine. Would be using gas. Yes, gas, but it's the, the gas engine is actually on the max, right? I'm pretty sure that you have never seen this kind of stuff before, like dual drive system, like all wheel drive system is scrap mechanic because it's very complicated to uh, to like do something like that. But all magma did uh, like a smart, very smart way to how to enable like the dual drive system or all wheel drive system or four wheel drive system in a uh, scrap mechanic though so let's just enable that dual drive and uh, as you can see there are still our wheels still 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 skip spinning you know obviously so let's go here all right all right so we're in the mountain right now and um there's a kind of a nice view there so um um let's go here though obviously and, uh for, um dual drive system is actually turned off obviously now obviously it still, still can skip the, the car or truck can still can do this you know it's just gas engine you know so um this this car right here i can't call this thing uh a mountain beast uh, a mountain beast and uh i'm lagging out my game though i i guess uh my fps are around 40s that is low 
scrap mechanics is like the easiest game to run in in, so, in some computers. Um, yeah, so let's just go down the mountain, you know. All right, you know. Now I'm pretty sure I'm being through this mountain, but that was like randomly generated. I think it was back in like 2018 when I first installed the scrap mechanic, obviously. And uh, look, you know. Uh, let, me, let me try going first person and uh, first going first person here is not a good idea You cannot see what you're going through, you know, you know, so I, d I just only recommend you to not drive this thing in first person Well, because this truck is actually kind of big, but According to uh, this real life car the, the Chevrolet C10 uh, Let me show you one in images as you guys can see it's very It's actually small Yes, it's very small um, but not too small. <laughs> uh, the the wheels are the are the one actually small. It's actually small though, and um, I had to make it big so it can be capable of uh, of roading, obviously. And uh, as you can see, this the truck here is uh, uh nothing I can say here. Um, I guess it's a decent uh truck. And uh, let's go back to the game. And uh, I thought I'm stuck there. All right, so let's keep going here. Let's go down, obviously. And um, yeah, so I guess uh, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy this uh, scrap mechanic video. Now, if you ever want to download this equation, it's actually in the description down below. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.